just got to Glencoe. Probably can't tell, but just behind me where the normal car park is, some absolute fucking morons have blocked everyone in by parking along the whole entrance. And so there's loads of people back there who just can't fucking leave. Glencoe, gonna climb up up here, just gonna loop around over there. Uh, so we're climbing Bidian Nambian, it's called. Another one is oh god, I can't remember the name Stob Koyas Green Hack. I think that's how it's spelled, don't know if that's how you say it. Uh, uh, but we're doing this because we fucked up last year and didn't make it because we got cut off by the snow going up the valley, the valley over there. So we're gonna fucking do it now and fucking complete it. See you over there. The weather said it was gonna be about fucking 15 degrees and raining and it's absolutely boiling. Gonna get burnt to a crisp and sweat to death. Go up there. Probably about halfway up, although I haven't got a fucking clue because don't have a, any way of knowing but we found these freaking sweet pools to swim in which we're not going to swim in because that would be a really dumb idea because it would be fucking cold at the top but look how awesome they are still got a couple of kilometers to go to the top I think uh, if you look going up here and it goes round that side and along the ridge and then backwards further to the top of Bidian Nambian Right, so we're walking up to the uh, to the ridge. We thought this was the path. I mean, it is definitely a path. We realised. Look over there. Look over here. There's a path on here. Could have gone that way, but fuck it. We're going this way now. Up here. Definitely taking the path less trodden because there's hardly any path. But it's way fucking cooler. Probably. to a fucking scary spot kind of scared to move because down there look at this fucking death pure death but sweet fucking views We 
nearly at the top of uh, this uh, thing here, right? Uh, and we realized, I realized, made a bit of a mistake. Uh, this is not Biddy and Abby Ann. That is. So we're going up here and then down along here and then up there. Extra mountain, but not a Monroe. So now we're at the top of this uh, this mountain. Got no fucking idea what it's called, but when we walked past someone on the way up. I'm sure she said something uh, along the lines of, uh, um, uh, now I've totally forgotten. So we can basically name this mountain whatever we fucking want. Now we're gonna crack on along that ridge. That fucking sweet ridge. And then that away. And I've forgotten. <laughs> I've forgotten what that was called now as well. But that's where we're going. So this is Biddy and Nambian. It's 1,150 meters tall. Uh, it's a Munro. That's pretty much all the interesting factoids I've got for you. Now going that way as you can see it looks like there's rain over there pretty fucking pissed off if it rains it started raining might pass but it's raining on our way over there now to uh, Cobb, uh, fucking something, Skoya, fucking scream, hash. How to fucking know? I'll write on the bottom of the video. Into the hidden valley over there, back to the car, which is fucking miles away that way. Here comes the dog shit rain. This one's called Stob Fuck off. Stob Koya Scream Hack. Uh, 1,107 meters tall. As you can probably tell, it is now fucking pissing it down. Just looked over there. Horrendous. That's back down into the valley. We're, uh, we're climbing down. Down there. Just want to get back to the car now because this kind of sucks. So 
so you can probably see come down about i'm going to say 20 meters down from the uh the the ridge up there when we came in may this is just about the point that we got to and we thought fuck it this is way too dangerous i will try and dig out some videos when we were there because it was just like an ice sheet and to be fair it was fucking dangerous and we shouldn't have been there but we did the right thing and turned around and now we've come back and conquered it so whatever i've resorted to wearing a hat that's the color it's got Coming into the hidden valley. Here it is. Hidden Valley is a interesting valley. The reason it's called the Hidden Valley is because it's hidden away from view. Interesting fact. I'm pretty sure that way back when cattle branches you know like uh, highland types used to come up here and hide cows i'm sure i'm sure i read that online somewhere could be total horseshit because to be fucking honest i have not got the faintest fucking clue how you'd get cows up here because it's the other side of the hidden valley is uh well it's like a steep ravine to get down and obviously the other way is mountains but i'm sure i read that online somewhere i'll uh i'll see if i can back it up here it is the hidden valley we actually originally thought it'd be quite fun to camp up here now we've got down here i don't know if you can see over there over there somewhere there's other people in tents. There's one, two, three, four tents I can make out. Could be more. But quite frankly, that sounds fucking dog shit. I want to camp somewhere in the wild where there's no other fucking people. And even though this is out the way, I guess it's not out the way enough. It's like a fucking campsite. <laughs> not for me. Fuck them. Nine tents in total. Well, they truly like fucking camp like. Had lots of different weather. It's been fucking roasting before and it was pissing down the rain and freezing and now it's pretty mild I'm gonna go find a spot to eat loads of fucking food and then find a spot to set up a tent for the night and after that so if you like awesome hikes up Bidia and Ambian, which is over there somewhere, and the other ones, whatever the fuck they're called. Like and subscribe. <laughs> so we're just coming back to the car. Uh, it's taken us six hours, 20 minutes, which is, I thought it would take us, I don't know, five hours. So it's definitely a bit longer. Completely fucked. Can't wait to eat food. Uh, it was about 14 kilometers. And I think 1200 meters ascent, although I'm not 100% sure on that. Feels like it was more. Anyway, see you later.